Greetings and welcome back to Driftland. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I wanted to thank everyone for their comments on my previous videos. Um, they've been very, very helpful. In particular, the comments of two different people uh, stood out to me, and they offered some strategies which I thought were really interesting. Uh, first of all, Revelian uh, sent me a little video of how he. Um, maximized his earnings and we're gonna start doing some of that and it involves building lots of mills and lots of uh, housing so we're gonna start doing that let's um, get rid of some of these old buildings that are no longer needed okay and let's see what we have we really would like to have more um, research going on so that's one of the things that I definitely want to concentrate on this because I discovered through research that this overtime bonus increases the production bonus of mills, sawmills, and quarries by 20%. Now that's not 20% of the current production. It's an additive bo bonus of 0.2. So when we build a mill, and let's just go ahead and build one. Um, let's see, let's put one right here. So when this mill gets built, it says production bonus per worker. With that research, and I tested this uh, just a little bit ago, it the very first mill level one will provide you with 0.3 bonus production. So it's a huge, huge bonus. This is really, really gonna be critical for us. So we're gonna um, go ahead and start this process of getting these things organized. Now I wish I could find my house of scholars where are you guys where are you hanging out man um we also might need we'll see we have a few farms one two three four farms i think we might need one more farm but we're gonna start making some serious cash by building cottages and uh and then and getting people to move in here and then making our mills and upgrading our mills I wish I knew where that darn thing was. The scholar. Here it is. House of Scholars. Alright, let's upgrade this. And I might even build a second one uh, nearby. So they can all chat about scientific things together. Uh, okay, no workers assigned. That's just fine. I'm going to upgrade these cottages. Uh, the cottages provide us with people, which provide us with money. Um, they eat food, so we need the mills to feed them. So we're going to build some stuff here. We just need to get a little bit of money coming in. And, uh, and that will be happening. Okay, House of Scholars has been upgraded. Great. So soon our monies are going to start going way up. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, we can't speed up time, but that's okay. We can just watch our, our people on their mounts flying by. It's pretty cool. We're going to take uh, a break from combat for a moment uh, for doing this. Now, one of the things also that uh, was mentioned by Revelian is if you build more marketplaces, you actually get a better return on stuff. What do we got? Uh, minus zero. Okay, that's just fine. Let me continue to upgrade these cottages. And, um, and then we'll start upgrading the mills as well. Come on, guys. We need 83. Let's upgrade this. There we go. So finally, they're getting the max amount of people, but our uh, money per day is really increasing very, very nicely. Once you get on a, a tear <laughs> getting all of this stuff made, you actually need to start buying stuff like stone and building materials um, to get all of your, your houses working uh, or upgrading fast enough, really. Uh, the next thing, see, before we were getting, what was it, like 30 per, per little while, and now we're having, like, what, 89, which is a lot, which is a lot. Um, so that's good. That's good. We're already starting to make progress on this. Um, and it's, it's going to be good. We're going to build up our population. So we get massive amounts of gold, uh, and then we can start increasing our research points and getting that all organized. Okay. So we can actually let this run at a bit of a deficit for now. We want to upgrade our mills or even just build new mills. So let's get one here and yeah, we need 167 per mill that we put down. Uh, 
I love how they come out of the ground and they kind of magically go around here. Uh, it's really, really quite lovely. Just lovely. And research-wise, we probably could get that going. But I want to, I just want to get these mills made. And the closer to your home, uh, your center uh, tile where your castle is, the cheaper the maintenance cost is going to be for these guys. So have I gotten the finance reform? I have not even gotten this. Let's get that. That's going to give us a huge amount of gold because it decreases building upkeep by two gold for every single building. We have now 217 gold. That's fabulous. Okay, and we're going to just make another mill here. And then we can start upgrading them. And what else do we have going on here? We have, I'd like to get this stone mined as quickly as possible, actually. And get some of these other things starting to get mined. Um, let me see where there's more stone mining to be had. Oh, there's gold mining over here. Oh, that's right. This is kind of close to these people, so they might object to this. Uh, what do we got here? A little bit of stone. You know what? I'm going to use my... Wait, what's going on? No workers assigned. What do you mean? No, we must have workers gold we must have our gold okay i want to look at building a stone mine probably everywhere like here is good and here is good anywhere else that has reasonable amounts of stone this place does but i have to take stuff off 300 trees lost over there not much there. There's some over here. So we're just going to mine stone like crazy here. Which is going to be good. Okay, we can start upgrading our mills. Okay, coal mine is abandoned. We can actually put a mill in its place. We're going to go mill crazy here. Okay, more mills, more mills. Alright, and we can do this. So we get stuff. We need a lot of stone for all the upgrading that we're going to do. Okay, that's mill two. Okay, and then we're getting a decent amount of gold here. Alright, mill has been built. Great, great, great. All the stuff has been built. Fantastic. I want to save up a little bit of money and build some cottages next. Okay, we're going to just focus on islands that are close by. Get one here. And... Ooh, can I... See if I can delete some of these little bits. Okay, that's 60 trees lost if I do that. Man. Let's see, can I build... Eh. Oh, it looks like only one, one cottage for that island. Okay, I thought it was just an issue of space, but it's not... Okay, let's get a couple cottages over there. I'm going to just start upgrading these cottages. Uh, any more that I can fit? Here, we'll, we'll have a couple here. Okay, only one cottage there, apparently. And as our population grows, so will our need for food. Um, and also our cash is going to grow. Let's get these guys going. I have to watch and make sure that we don't run out of, um, of farms. It's advisable to have five farms. Let's see, one, two, okay, three, four. So we have four farms. So let's have five farms um, because then you can have, kind of have like this maximum amount, it's really a good number, and then you get your, your mills working overtime for you. Okay. This House of Scholars has no people. Let's get them working. Uh, because we're going to... Our main goal here is lots and lots of research. Alright, so now we're getting... We have more people. So we're going to need some more food. And this is kind of an interesting cycle to get into. Uh, where you build your houses and then you build your mills. Um, and then you can just really... Um, Make your cash go quite through the roof. Okay, we need... What do we need? Oh, go. It's fine now. 
So now we're just kind of waiting for the money to come in. And now look at our money now. It's 267, 274. And it's still rising because our population is rising. Apparently five farms with enough mills can supply 700 inhabitants with food, which is pretty neat. That's pretty, pretty cool. So I'm really looking to make a decent amount of money. Now, the other thing that can be done is when we have the, uh, well, actually I should say, let's uh, look at the marketplaces. Let's get rid of this stonemason. Um, an interesting observation. Oh, is it still functioning? It is. Wow. Okay. Is there anything left on this island? Yeah, there's some. Okay. We'll just let them function. doesn't seem to hurt the buildings if there's not enough people. It's okay. I'm aware that the food is going lower. That's okay. We're not really bothered about this. We're okay for now. What I'm really looking forward to getting is the overtime bonus there. So let's maximize our scholars. Can we upgrade this? We need 34 stone. Okay. So now we're running out of stone. We're having lots of money but we have le less stone. We have one marketplace. And if we, we were to trade money for stone, we have a five to one ratio. If you build more marketplaces, uh, then you can actually get, get a better exchange rate. And I found this quite interesting. Let's see, is this, I think we're done with all these things, aren't we? Yeah, go away stuff, go away bushes. There's no more resources here. I don't know why they don't disappear. Um, but anyway, if you build one extra marketplace, remember it was five to one, um, money to stone. Let me just upgrade a couple mills here. Can I? No, wait, that's a, let's go look from the top view. It's easier to see which ones need upgrading and which not. What are we missing? Oh my God, we're missing stone. Okay, we're gonna have to buy stone because even though I have almost maxed out the stone, <laughs> it's still not enough. All right, so five to one. Now with two marketplaces, it's 24 to five. So you do get slightly better exchange rates. And if you want to improve the exchange rates on your um, uh, thingies, the, the higher level goods, you have to upgrade your marketplaces. Though I did check and I upgraded marketplaces to level three. Simply upgrading them does not improve the ratios of the basic goods. You have to actually build more marketplaces. So that I found quite interesting. Um, so we can build like maybe have three marketplaces. That should be okay. Um, and let's buy some stone while we're at, oh, let's wait till that finishes and see what the ratio is. All right. I shouldn't have built these here actually. I might even delete them because I would rather have this whole place be scholars, uh, to be honest. Um, all right, so it's now, what is it? Okay, this money to stone is nine to two. All right, so let's buy some stone, a lot of stone. And I'm gonna delete these marketplaces. I could put them somewhere else maybe, but I wanna have these houses of scholars. Um, that's important to me. So let's see if I can build some more of those guys. Okay, we're running out of food a little bit. Wait, are they, here they are, right. I wanna build a bunch of these guys and just really get the research going fast, fast. And we have stone so we can upgrade mills and our life is going to pr improve significantly once we can get the um the overtime bonus that's going to be a really really good thing okay what do we got minus 12 food yeah we need to do sort that out okay add more research and hopefully we're going to get there in no time this is pretty, pretty exciting. It's kind of a cool strategy. I mean, it does take time obviously to get things going and get your houses built and, and stuff like this. Let's add a couple more farmers. We're just not uh, bleeding stuff, people. Um, and I want to upgrade houses. These are all cottage threes. These are the ones that I added just a little while ago. Okay. Those look like they're all uh, upgraded. Great, great, great. Okay. So then we can add more, more houses. Okay, there we go. Just make sure that our food is not too crazy uh, bad. Oh man. Okay, and there's really no more close by spots. Looks like it. Let's delete this place. 
gold mine, lumberjack not functioning. I have a little bit of stone here. Um, let's get more researchers. Cottages. Now cottages are going to start to get fairly expensive um, to maintain. Seven, but still at seven, you can still make money if you have a decent amount of mills. Let's get some of these mills upgraded as well. There we go. Alright, let's get these guys going. Because that's going to instantly get us more, much more money to pay for these scholars we're now employing like crazy. But look, we're getting four progress points per day, which is quite nice. All right, let's, um, de -de 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 -de. okay, we can get rid of this gold mine and that'll be another place for a mill. Ha ha. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, is there much stone here? This, wow. We need to build a stone masons here on this island. Let's go ahead and do that. Now this farm, let me upgrade these farms just so that they're at max ability to perform. We can, um, make some more food, slightly more food. Uh, right, so cottage two, move up, up in the world. There we go. And we just gotta get people settled all over the place. Uh, oh, these are the cottages here. Okay, so we can't really do much there. We can probably put cottages here. What about this island? What is this island? They didn't ever go and get this chest? How odd. All right, what's on this island? There's a bunch, wow, there's like rubies here. That's interesting. I had no idea. Let's get ruby mining. And get some stone mining going on here. Just get all of this stuff going on right now. Okay, we are now making more money. Money, money, money. Alright, you're done with your life. And this one is done. Okay. So this is our cottage there, cottage three, and what do we got here? More cottage three. Uh, right, let's build, what else can, where else can we build? I guess here is okay. And then let's delete this thing, big mountain here. Kind of like to build in an area so I, I know where to upgrade them next. Okay, this island. And use some more cottages. Yes. Okay, these are oh, this can you have three cottages? How lucky for us. Excellent. And upgrade, upgrade. And then there's that farm that needs upgrading as well. Let's get this one. Just we have the the capacity. Come on. Get all these guys upgrading. All right, we need to have more food made. Much food made, yes. Okay, and we need to upgrade our mills as well. Uh, we might even build more mills. More mills, more mills. I'm really curious to get that um, 200 research points. Okay, upgrade the mills. Let's mill two. Two mill two. Okay, these are going to be mill ones. The mill ones are just cheaper to upgrade to level two. Okay, let's get these. Go, go, go. So I'm afraid that we may not. Oh, we need more stone. Look at that. All right, we may not have enough farming. Okay, there, there we can go. We can go into a balance again there. And uh, we need to uh, buy some more stone. Let's go to our marketplace. And trade it's back again to five to one because remember I deleted a lot of stuff there. Okay, so buy this. Maybe I'll even trade some magic for this as well. That's even, I have so much magic. Might as well. Wow, look at, uh, oh, we have no wood. We need to make a, a lumberjacks area. So let's see. Here is fine. Another wood mine over here. Um, I know they're not wood mines, but it sounds funny to say so. Anyway, there's okay. There's okay. Um, 
there's not a lot of wood, is there? We may have to start <laughs> start buying our wood. Um, but, you know, with this kind of um, uh, strategy, you we're going to have so much gold. Uh, it's really going to be good. Okay, let's get this stuff, get wood. Let's get all of this just organized. And this can be... We really want to get all this stuff out of the ground. Right now. Right now. Yes. Okay, cottages. Let's upgrade the cottages. That's our lumberjack. Again, the cottages here. And then we're going to go for our mills again. Where are they? Let's see. There's mill three. If we look from above, there's a mill one here. It's mill two. Yeah, it's going to cost us a little bit more money to upgrade those guys. Okay. Stone has been depleted on one island. Yeah, and right now, the thing is, is we're getting 320, but we're also spending so much more on resource extraction. Uh, it's quite staggering, actually. Okay, we need 73 more monies. 333. And we're over 100 points on research. This is getting kind of exciting for me. I'm really liking this. Now, the other bit of research we want is extensive breeding. Your flying beasts will spawn twice as many units. Um, so that's one of the things that I really want. Let's see, there's vision range by 50%. Okay, increases experience gain. That sounds pretty good. Pax Barbariana is barbarians will no longer attack you unprovoked. Arcane Fountain, building repairs no longer cost gold. That's pretty handy. Um, black market improves the exchange rates of the markets. I, I've never gotten that one. I'm curious as to how that will work. Web of Wizardry doubles spell casting range and spell weaving decreases spell cost by 50% of mana. Those, this one probably I wouldn't get. I've gotten Web of Wizardry in one of my previous games and doubling the range isn't like, like from here we can see up to here. It's not going to go like double. It seems to... Maybe it, it works on the area of the circle instead of actually the, I don't know, the other bits. All right, let's look at this island here. We haven't done a lot of other stuff since I've been just totally wildly getting stuff. Uh, wow. Okay. So we're going to quickly move this island here. I'm going to send our folks to destroy stuff there. Seems reasonable to me. Uh, oh, we need a diamond mine here just to start extracting stuff. All right, and let's get ourselves a bridge. I'm kind of doing other things so our money can build up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they can go and kill those guys. Let me get a, um, oopsies, come on. I really want to just, there we go. Do the geology survey on that little island. What else can we see here? Ooh, these guys are out of our range a little bit. These, on the other hand, are belong to our foes. Yep, they're killing my eye. But what we could do is we could actually destroy one of their islands. Made contact, Dark Elf Empire. All right, let's see how we're doing for upgrades here. Looks like all of the cottages have been upgraded there. And we should probably just upgrade these Houses of Scholars here. That would be nice. And the mills. All the mills. All the time. 149 research points. Okay, there we go. Alright, and we're missing stone now. Which is okay. We're, we're gonna get there. Because we are making tons and tons of money. Okay, houses of scholars have been upgraded. Let's see how much this is gonna cost us. Actually, not that much to get more research points. And that looks like there's one more that needs to be upgraded. We need just a little bit more money for that. Oh no, a stone deposit has been depleted. That's unfortunate. Is that this one? Okay, let's delete that one. There we go. Okay, so looks like our people deleted these people here, which is kind of nice. There we go. They're going to go and get the chests and then do the geology survey. I probably don't need a geology survey over there. Um, eh, it's okay though, I guess. 
It's all right. Okay, so now we can remove, lower our food making since we upgraded so many of those mills. Let's go from above and again, we have this nice view of these little icons above each of the structures indicating, aha, this has not been upgraded. I really like that feature and the fact that you can just click them from here uh, and get things organized. Let's get to our marketplace here. I want to trade, ah, eh, maybe money for stone. Let's do that. Even though we have stone coming in by the pound, this 23 coming in. Ooh, we really need coal. Let's see if we can build a coal mine somewhere. Where do we want to do that? Is there a space? Wow. Most of them have so little coal. It's like not a lot at all. Almost none. Jeez. Okay. Well, we'll just put them, even if there's a little bit, we'll just extract it from various places. This one has 119 coal. Those are working. Um, zero, zero, 00650. Right. Okay, how do we get... I think we might have to destroy something on this island. Maybe... Maybe this rock. Let's see. If we take off that rock, can we fit this guy on the edge? No. <sighs> Sigh. Um, let's see if we can extract that stone first, and then we can delete that mountain, maybe. Okay, this has 643 coal. That's good. Uh, any more coal? This one has 149. What about uh, iron? We could use some iron as well. Okay, this one has a lot of iron. Cool. All right, let's get people working out all of this stuff. Okay, and our House of Scholars. Let's build that up a little bit. And our mills. How do we get the mills going? Oh, we're missing 14 stone. <laughs> Still with the stone. It's like, no. God. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we have almost a raging economy. You could call it that. And we're going to have one even better in a few minutes uh, when we get 200 research points here. All right, magic resistance. Mill's been upgraded. We need more stone. We need a lot of stone. Come on, research. Go through here. Okay. Um, right, so this is, this is going okay. What is my magic range around here? Okay, it actually goes past this island. Is this connected to anywhere? I'd really like to see. It's barbarian encampment. If I move this island near me... I could just defeat them that way. Why not? All right, go ahead and attack that island, please. Now, what about this island? Oh, we can't see that. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be fine. Now, there's another thing that we can do to extend this range of vision. We can. Um, we might want to even add an island here. Oopsies. Okay, go ahead and attack those people, please. Because that's not a proper empire, it's barbarians, so they should be just singletons. Um, anyway, if we want to extend our range of vision, see we have this nice curve here. The next island is right here. What we can do is build a wizard's tower, and it actually says this in the description here. Um, the building also grants you additional range for your spells. The only issue is that it may not be close enough. So let me build a new thing. All right, we've got to get our magical eye here and oh, there's a oh, these are very close. Wow. Okay. Right. Um maybe it is close enough. All right, let's build a wizard tower like right here on the edge and we'll see how that uh, increases our vision. And oh, look at this. Okay, let's get this research for overtime. We're making plus 20 bread right now. Um, okay, so now we're making plus 32 bread. Okay, that's all right. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be. But it very much incentivizes you to build only level 1 mills. Okay, so we can see our range has now been extended by this wizard's tower. 
Um, and we have some other people living here. Do we see a castle yet? Not yet. Um, but what we can do is actually build an island. Or, well, we might even want to capture one of these. Or are they connected? Oh, they have bridges. So if they have bridges, they can't be... Um, <laughs> they can't be um, moved, right? But anyway, uh, big thanks to, I think it's, uh, let me look at the name real quick, Michael Sokolsky, who mentioned this range enhancement thing. That's pretty cool. Um, we could get Gates of Thier, or what we could do is this, and then command our guys to blow up this island. So what's going to happen is one of our wizards is going to fly over there and surround the islands with stuff. Let me make sure there's nothing good on that island. Like, no flying uh, creatures. Yeah, it seems okay. And then the AI is going to have to lose an island. So that's that's going to be kind of bad for them. Kind of really bad for them. All right, I want to build... We want more houses of scholars, I think. So we can get some major research points coming in. So the other thing is we can build mills and I'll show you this. Uh, doo -doo -doo. One can go there. Just, just kind of surround as close to our castle as possible to keep the costs down of stuff. Okay, so let's get more people to work. All right, and look at our mill, level one. 0.3 per worker already at level one and at other levels at higher levels like level three it just adds those other bonuses on top it's not a mill um so it's 0.5 so you don't get additional on top it's just really affects the level one building okay so here is our mage our, our wizard i should say and he's casting the spell around this landmass. They can do nothing about it unless they have flying units that can actually take my guy out. Um, so they're just going to have to deal with this magic being cast around their island and they're going to lose it very shortly. We'll come back to that in a bit. Um, but otherwise, nice. We have, uh, let's go and do a geology survey there. And what else we've got here? got further islands out here. We may actually have to build toward these islands um, to get things going. This is so cool. You can even see it on the map how this is happening here. I think that's awesome. All right, so we have 3,000 gold right now. Uh, let's reduce our food thing a little bit. Um, all right, and we can move some of these things. Let's move stonemason, no island resources. Okay, what else is on this island? There's some... Ah, there's iron there. So let's mine that. What else is here? It's just some mana. Eh, not worried about the mana. Since mana comes from just being around, it's really not that advantageous to mine it. I mean, you get some every turn from your castle. Okay, check this out. Okay, deposits of wood are being depleted. That's not great. Okay, cool. They're still going. This is pretty exciting. It's kind of scary, too. Um, this one needs a gold mine. I'm going to build a gold mine. Oh, I can't build. What am I missing? Stone. <laughs> like always, stone. It's stone. All right, let me go buy some stone real quick at the market. Oh, no, not that. I want gold for stone. Let's do a trade. There. Okay, this is progressing. I really want to see the final result of this because this is going to be somewhat spectacular. Um, yeah, it'll look pretty good. Let's go. Oh, there it goes. Look at this. The magic is reaching out. It's trying to connect. Okay, dudes. I hope this wasn't important. Oh, it's a gold mine. That's unfortunate. That's okay, though. We're going to destroy their bridges and their island. Um, oh, I, maybe I shouldn't have destroyed this island. <laughs> Oh boy. All right. It is surrounded. Oh dear. And kaboom. Wow. That was very cool. That was very cool indeed. Okay. Mage goes back home and uh, they have no more island there. Yay. 
I think I would like to build an island. Can I? Let's see if I can build one from here. Uh, it's Sorceress Plantation. This is in Fog of War, so I need to kind of... Get all this... Just create some space for ourselves here. This one. Please. Does it have to be all completely... Does that work? Maybe? Okay, cool. So this would work. That's a little bit too close, I'm guessing. Okay, so we are forming a brand new island here. And that will help bridge our way to the other area. can also put a wizard's tower right on the end of this thing. Okay, we can't build it yet. I guess we have to wait. Okay, there's food coming in. And we probably could get even more cottages settled here. Um, let's get some of those going. More people. Live. Be free. Photons be free, right? Haha. -ha. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, this shouldn't be too far, I'm hoping. So we have several cottages we're building here. We also do need to do a geological survey on this new place. There, go ahead. Okay, cottages have been built. So let's get them all upgraded. And increase our income like crazy. Okay, because I really would like to get the double mounts and completely overpower our enemies. That would be ideal. Okay, there we go. Alright, we are having a little bit of a deficit in food, but we're monitoring it so it's not too bad. After this, we're going to go on a mill upgrading spree. Wow, not much stone. We need to keep buying stone. I may even need to build extra marketplaces somewhere, like maybe here, just to get a little bit more stuff. Remove tree. Remove, oh, we don't want to remove the eagle's nest. No. Want to keep that eagle's nest. Absolutely. Nope. Um, actually, yes. We will remove that mountain. Okay, let's get these guys going. Lumberjack, you can go bye-bye. And I think we're pretty good on anything else. What do these guys have? Diamonds? I guess we could set up a small diamond mine just to collect what they have. Otherwise, it's mana farming there. All right, so we got all of our houses upgraded. Let's see if there are any mills in the center of town that need upgrading. So there's one here. Actually, there are a bunch here. Get that one. And build any extra mills that we can see. Wow, minus 101 food. That's getting a bit serious. That's okay. We're going to get that sorted in just a moment. Okay, Mills. There you go. Okay. I can probably delete some of these like miscellaneous things. Remove mountain. It doesn't look much like a mountain, I have to admit. Okay, what else can we remove? This mountain, yes. Mills, mills, mills. Ah, yes, we could fit one more there. That's cool. Okay, mill. Oh, that's an iron mine. We don't care about iron mines that much. We need to get more people working on the farms there. Um, because we're hemorrhaging food too fast. Just a bit too fast. Okay, and now we're out of stone. <laughs> This is an interesting cycle to get into for sure. All right, let's look. All of our stones should have been made 21 to 5, which is a pretty decent ratio. Uh, so let's just get a whole bunch of stone. Look at our money. 633 coming in. That's just staggering. You know, it's really a huge, huge amount of money. More upgrades. Okay, this thing is done, stonemason. 
There we go. And we're just gonna leave our enemies alone right now. We're gonna be okay. Uh, Mills. Oh, and House of Scholars. Wow, I didn't even upgrade these guys yet. Okay, these are level one. Needs money. Okay, and we can take our food production down again. As we're taking all this stuff up. Alright, 125 monies needed. Alright, come on. And look at our research points, just leaping, leaping up. Okay, diamond mine. Yep, keep going. Okay, we need some more stone. All right, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit, but not too long. I mean, 598 per day in the game, in game days, 605. This is just crazy. It's really, really crazy wild. Uh, ooh, look at this. We have stone mining can happen here. That looks great. Uh, and ooh, coal mining as well. All right, now let's buy some stone. Here's our marketplace. And we're gonna buy it with, yes, gold is fine. Gold is our renewable resource right now. All right, Stonemason, we're gonna upgrade you. Okay, there we go, wow. 19 it's costing us per day because it's so far away from our, I wonder if it's cheaper just to buy <laughs> just to buy stone instead of paying that much to extract it. Man, that seems like it might be cheaper for sure. That's ah, okay. We'll we'll leave it for now. All these mills. Look at this. This is just such a wild wild strategy. Very interesting. So, okay. Uh, I think now we probably should be fairly comfortable with things. Um, let's get more researchers. Wow, nine points a day. Very nice. Um, what we want to get is extensive breeding. It's cost us. It's going to cost us six hundred uh, to get that. The ruby. Where's the rubies? We're going to need lots of rubies. How much? Two hundred thirty-one. That's very meowy indeed. Okay, and it also has. Oh, it's going to cost us two. <laughs> Like I said, it may even be cheaper just to buy rubies. Though rubies are very expensive. Uh, we will say this. They're very, very expensive. So. Okay, Houses of Scholars. These guys, again, need to be upgraded a little bit. Oh, we're, we're short on stone again. Short on stone. No. Oh, I don't have them working flat out. Gotta get them going. 210 stone should be enough to upgrade them a little bit. Now we just need money. Come on, money! Go! All right. More researchers. I want to get 10 research points a day. That's going to really set us up good. And we'll start forming a strategy about how we want to get to these people. Have they completely, like... Okay, this is has a bridge to it. I mean, one could technically sort of just, you know blow up all their islands, I suppose, if you wanted to. Um, look how we've extended our magic range here. We have a tower on this island, and I think there's a tower here. Um, I suppose what we could do is we could take over one of these islands or, or start, you know, damaging it, and then um, just uh, build our own towers there. And we could get one of those, like, um, these portal things, the Gates of Fear, to do that if we wanted to. All right, so we have 95 scholars. Come on, I want more. Ah, that's right. We had to upgrade one more of these guys. Why not two? We'll do them both so that research goes a lot faster. Is there anything else that needs upgrading? Looks like a couple of mills could use upgrading here. Um, all right, and again, stone. It all comes down to stone. You wouldn't think that stone would be so hard to find on islands made out of stone, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> Looks like wood is also very much in short supply. Are there any wood wood areas? 400, 300, but these are so far away from my main base. It's, um, 
Definitely not ideal. I think we'll just have to buy wood. I think we'll have to buy wood. All right. Um, in any case, I think this is probably a good stopping place. Uh, wow, we can remove a lot of stuff here and gain this really nice large land area. Move tree. Yep, we're going to get those, especially since they're on the edges of stuff. And we can put mills there. <laughs> Put mills there. We can put mills there. <sighs> Dear God, this mill strategy is really very um, interesting. Yeah, they only cost us four per day on this particular island. Very cheap. Just like it's mill spam. So, I'm guessing that possibly the devs might re want to rework this, unless this is an intended strategy. It very well could be. I don't know. Um, but it's a lot of it's a lot of fun and you feel like very much stronger when you're playing this It's like, okay, you know, I can do it. We're not gonna die um, Not yet. Anyway, so let's get to the marketplace Trade everything for stone. There we go Now I have no money <laughs> We can reduce this increase the money There we go pretty cool and also increase our researchers as well so yeah this is this has been a very interesting kind of walk through of a different strategy and thanks again to to everyone who commented i really appreciate that it's kind of fun to try out different things and stuff like that um i always like to learn about different games all the time so it's good. Very good. Okay, let's delete these guys. Man, there's so much. You know what? I kind of wish they would auto-destroy stuff. That would be a nice thing. That would be a really cool perk. Like here, I would buy that. I would be like, oh, auto-destroy buildings. Yes, that works for me. Um, but anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.